So, what are the five reasons to buy this camera? In my opinion, reason number one is it gets you off your phone. Something like this is a purpose-built device. There's no distractions. This one doesn't even have a touch screen. So, yeah, pretty much that. No distractions. And it looks dope. <clears throat> and let's face it, this one specifically, the bigger sensor and the red dot. The bigger sensor is going to give you better pictures than your phone ever will, in my opinion. And the red dot is just, let's, let's, let's be real, it's for clout. But honestly, it's just um, this one specifically is it's like, do you feel that this camera or do you feel that like in general give you a unique look that other camera manufacturers or brands don't give you? And that's a question that you need to answer for yourself. <clears throat> uh, and something regardless of brand that I think is pretty cool is one. This camera has an EVF. That means an electronic viewfinder. An aperture dial. A shutter speed wheel. A shutter speed wheel. And that kind of all gives it this old school feel, which is what I'm looking for in this project. If you don't know, 37 Exposures, which is the name of this channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And the point of it is that I just want to shoot more. Artificially constricting myself to about 37 pictures in a, se in a session is a fun way of uh, getting me back out on the streets without overcommitting and gives me some sort of structure and it helps minimize uh, what I have to edit afterwards. I like having a camera that slows me down so having the latest and greatest technology isn't something that's a really big priority. So something like this is actually pretty awesome for me. Um, another reason is the compact, the relative compact size, especially when it's off. Um, and the unique lens. Honestly, before starting this 37 Exposures project, I didn't really see much of a difference between phone pictures and uh, pictures shot on like an actual camera. Um, but doing this has kind of like really opened my eyes to the difference what like, I guess, other YouTubers call, oh, that's really good glass. Um, on top of that, uh, compared to the other camera that I did a video for, the Leica XE, this one actually has video, so, and I feel that the video is actually pretty cool, too. And the last reason that I think uh, this is a good buy is that one, you do get the red dot for a little bit of a discount if you can find it for a good price. Um, there is an alternative version called uh, the LX100, the Panasonic LX100. And um, if used isn't your thing, they also have the Panasonic LX100 too which has the same lens, the same sensors, pretty much the exact same camera, just a different badge and slightly different uh, JPEG processing. But I believe that the RAW is essentially the same thing. And a lot of the pictures in this, uh, no, all of the pictures that I shot were edited from RAW.
if used isn't your thing they have the LX100 too or the like a deluxe 7 which is essentially the exact same thing as this but with the um, slightly more megapixels and it also has a touchscreen which this does not have But for me, I think this is pretty dope. It's been a fun buy and hey, it got me out and it got me to shoot this video just for y'all. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.